Hi. Hi, Brenda. Just waiting for a few more people to pop on. Hi, Doris. Welcome. I'll wait for a few more to pop on and then I'll do a recap of what I'm doing. How's the weather in your neck of the woods? I guess I could turn it down towards the wreath now. Um, an Easter wreath. Happy Easter with Bunny. Some eggs, some ribbons. I'm trying to just adjust the camera. You guys see and hear okay? There we go. Is that going to do it? Or did that turn it the other way? Oh, there we go. Okay. We're going to be putting a bunny on the wreath. We've got a Happy Easter sign. We've got some eggs. And we have a lot of ribbon. Plus some mesh. We've got this color. Yeah, these two will go together. And then the pink and the purple. And then we have some deco mesh tubing, um, some blue and pink, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use these eggs or this, so I haven't quite decided. I thought I'd let everybody else decide when they hop on, when we get to that point anyhow. So I'm doing 10 inch poofs here. Hi Sue, welcome back. How's my Paul babies? We're doing 10 inch poofs, top and bottom. How's your brother, Sue? I love this yellow. It is so bright. Can Bunner and Precious hear me if I say hello to them? <laughs> oh no. My cow south. This week south? Weekend? No. Well, if you need me, you know where I am. All right, I'm going to cut here and take it round back and then start on the second level and zip tie. Oh, no. Hi, Sue Benjamin. How you feeling? I hope all your tests are coming back good. 
making an Easter wreath. We're using the yellow mesh, and then we, when we get done that, we're gonna put these two colors on top. And we got a bunny, a sign, and some tails. We're going to start on the second layer, upper level, as soon as I can find my zip ties again. There we go. Oh, thanks, Sue. Strub. <laughs> we got two Sues on here tonight. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think taking pictures does them justice. Even when you put them outside, I still think until somebody can see them up close, they have no clue. I know when I send them out and the, it gets to where it's going, the people are blown away. a wreath with all the um, these things attached. I didn't make my own this time. This one came from Trendy Tree and I'm really impressed at the quality. There's one I got in today from another company and it is not good. I like this one a lot better. So Sue and Sue, when are you coming to take a class? Yes, I still have the bee wreath, Sue. Benjamin, it's upstairs. I did post it on Etsy, um, <laughs> but it can be removed if you're interested. That is an awesome wreath. Those colors are amazing. And <laughs> those bees really move, too. Okay. I'm using my mat here to measure. Cut and tuck behind and tie it down. Done that. And then we'll start on the ruffles next. I can do a Sunday class, yes. Plus I do some Wednesday evenings too and somebody just requested a Thursday evening class. So, um, and some people bring their own bottle too. <laughs> okay, so we got the top done. Now we're gonna work on the ruffles and I'm gonna do the woodland ruffle if you just pop the line, tell us who you are. Say hello. Don't 
don't be shy. And I tell everybody, if you can get me four people in the class, I can do a class anytime. <coughs> this one's not rolling the way it's supposed to. <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't that look pretty against the yellow? If you're interested in when I go live, just type live in the comments and the Facebook robot will do the rest. And if you don't mind sharing, I'd really appreciate it. I also in the comments put my um, a link to my Etsy page and also a link to my YouTube page. When I get to 100 on my YouTube page, we're going to give away a, a, a bow. Colors of your choice. See you, Brenda. Thanks for stopping. <coughs> I have a classroom here. You um, pay a flat fee depending on which one you want to make. And I have all the, uh, everything's here. You don't have to bring a thing. Hi, Carolyn. Thanks for stopping. I know, doesn't that look pretty against the yellow? Wait till I add the ribbons. I am going to blow you away. I'm doing the woodland ruffle. Or whether it go up, I think I like it better down. And see when I put that sign on there, the sign has yellow, it has the purple, it has the pink. So my ribbons, choice of ribbons, choice of mesh, everything's going to match the wreath. I mean, I match the sign. on the top and the bottom. Boy, that's really giving it a pop of color, isn't it? both sides a few times and then crunch it in the middle. It's really good and sturdy too. Yes, it is very springy. My bunny, he's purple. He's gonna go in the middle. Well, actually, the sign will go in the middle, so he'll probably go on the side. Two more on this row. Where are you from, Carolyn? What's the weather like in your neck of the woods?
I'll do the finishing touches on this tomorrow and it'll be listed on Etsy. And I put it in the comments. Oh, South Carolina. Rainy. Well, we're supposed to get more snow. Saturday or Sunday into Monday. Okay, that row's done. Start on the next row. And if all of a sudden the screen goes blank and I get kicked off, please somebody message me and let me know that I get kicked off. Yeah, I'm sure you're ready for, for spring, Sue, Benjamin. My husband used to work with Sue. He, carried, he uh, retired. He was a postal carrier. And even though he's not carrying uh, mail still, Sue Benjamin, he still complains about the weather. I thought once he stopped work, he wouldn't be complaining about the weather anymore. Not true. Right. They called you Sue B, didn't they? Is that why you were asking about the bee wreath? I will. <laughs> and tell everybody at work we've got a ton of eggs if anybody needs any. All of a sudden, our chickens started laying again. And this is one wreath we can make in class, too. Oh, okay. Well, we got a couple of classes coming up for bee wreath, too. Bee and um, ladybug and there's a pineapple one there's going to be a flamingo one um, a bicycle one um, memorial day one and a lot of beach ones too Thank you. This one next. Everybody went tonight. There were a lot of people that were supposed to be on here. Maybe they're eating dinner. Um, if you look Sue Benjamin on my um, Facebook page, there is a section on the side that lists posts and reviews. And um, there's actually an event page there. If you click on the event page, it will take you to what's um, what's happening. And that's just to the beginning of um, March. So I'll be listing the others real soon. Yeah, I think it is dinner time for some people. Okay. 
Now we'll start on the tails. And we've got pink and purple. And then we've got this one, this teal and really spicy looking one. Boy, look at that. That really makes that purple pop, doesn't it? Oh, I love these colors. And I've been wanting to use this color for a long time. I actually have another um, wider version of a plaid that just looks great with that one. Do anybody have any plans for the weekend? Hi, Izzy. Glad you could join us. Where do you live, Iz? Thank you, Carolyn. Oh, that's right. Got your signs okay? I actually have a bunch of signs coming in on Monday that I may just do a live just to show the signs. Um, there's flamingo, there's some new ladybugs, there's a few bee ones. They're a bunch of beach ones, too. Yes, but these are new ladybug ones. <laughs> God, I think that looks so pretty against that color, doesn't it? You'll have to send me a picture, Izzy, when you make it, or make the wreath with that one. There's so many people doing lives tonight, too, so that may be why we don't have very many here tonight. Thank you, Sue Benjamin. that um, chick wreath in a in a contest so Yes, I do plan on adding a bow if there's enough room. <laughs> I'm just not sure. I figure once I get the sign in the rabbit on, 
Then we'll see where we where we're at. <laughs> may not need it. There may be just too much on it at that point. But we'll see. class coming up on Saturday we're going to do a, a carrot. I got two people coming in to do a carrot and one person coming in to do a bunny. I may, if there's not enough room, I could still make the bow because a lot of people are requesting um, a wreath for the door and then a bow for the mailbox to match the wreath on the door. So that's always an option. Please feel free to share. If you want to know when my lives are, just type it live in the comments. And the robot on Facebook should, um, you know, let you know the next time I'm live. And I also posted at the top my Etsy page and my YouTube page, um, YouTube channel, because we're going to do a contest. And when I reach 100, I'm going to give away a bow. And you're going to get to be able to watch it live. And you're also going to get to pick out what colors you want in your bow. So feel free to share. I really appreciate it. I just learned about how to set up a contest, but I'm still not sure how to do it. So I figure I'll start spreading the word now. I would like to try to do a mailbox swag, Carolyn. I'm just afraid that if I put it out, somebody's going to take it. They live right on a main road. I mean, if I was, you know, on a road that not a lot of people travel, then, you know, I think I'd be okay, but... This pulls out the purple and this pulls out the teal. That really looks nice together. I must have dropped the ribbon somewhere. So I actually had more cut than I needed. It's hiding somewhere. Not to mention grabbing my vest. There. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to cut another one. I know it was right here. There's one. I can turn that one down. That's a little too long.
How's that looking so far? Pretty poofy, huh? <laughs> okay, now this is the sign we're going to be putting on. And this is one thing I started doing with my signs. I started taping my business card to the back because they're going to have this on the door and when they take it off the door, they're going to remember where they got it and they're going to look for one for the next season. So I felt that was pretty important to, um, you know, put that on the back. Let's see. I've got to find my top here, which would be a good place for the top. I think right here. Now I ended up using, this is a device that you can, or a pair of pliers that they use in jewelry making and it can punch through metal. So I actually added three more holes to this sign. Um, when you have a sign this size, you really want to be able to secure it. So that's why I added the extra one. It already came with one, a real big one. So I was trying to disguise that with the bow, but I needed to secure it in three more places. So I forget what this thing is called, but it punches through metal. I don't know if you can see it. It's really great for punching a hole in these signs. That's for sure. Okay. Now, I'm thinking right about there for the top. Because once I get the sign secure, then we can figure out where we're going to put the bunny and if we need a bow. And I always make sure I twist it several times. I don't want to mash this down, I just want to have it secure. And then at the end, I'll cut it, I'll twist it some more and cut it, but then tuck it in so it's, you know, not going to scratch the person's door. Okay, we got one end done. That feels like it's pushed down a little too much now. I got a little too carried away there. There. That's better. I wish it would stop grabbing my vest. <laughs> And this is an elevated work wreath. And I find the elevated work wreaths work better when you're putting a sign on. Because then you can disguise the wire on the highest one. Which makes it nice. Because then it's not going to injure their door. You know, scratch their door. And then see? My, my business card is right there. So they know how to get a hold of me. Okay, two more. Anybody have any questions so far? The poofs were 10 inches. The woodland uh, ruffle was 20 inches. Now see, I'll trim that, but then I'll wrap it more around that wire, the wreath frame. One more side. I don't 
I wait till the end to cut it just in case I want to reposition it or I have something to move. I get some of those poops up. There we go. And then of course I'll end up repositioning everything here, all the, the tails and digging some out from underneath the sign. just to pull these to the side. Like this. What do you think? Too much? Too big? Do I need a smaller one? If you're just jumping on, let us know you're here. Say hello. And please share. And if you type live in the comments, it will let you know when I go live. Um, what's the consensus? Too big? Is he too big for the sign? I know what. I think I got a better idea. What if, instead of using the big one, I added a couple little ones. What do you think? One, two, let me get, I know I have another one. What do you think of that? Is that better? Yeah, I think the little ones. Hi, Belinda. Welcome. I think the pink one was too big. I mean, the purple one. He's just humongous. He just doesn't look right there. So we could do three of the little ones. We could do them on this side. We could put a bow here. Or we could do the three little ones. I have real shiny eggs. I have some pink and blue tubing. We could add that too. Let's see. I mean, that really looks good on it. I think that's what we'll do. I just don't know about the bow. Or, uh, 
that's too too big too. Yeah, I don't think that bunny was the right size. And I could swap out the bows and do a pink or a purple or a turquoise. I can do that at another time. Yeah, I think the tubing really does give it some bling. And we all know I like glitter and bing, bling, so. Gotta go a little bigger. There we go. lay these up here until we figure out where I'm going to put them. Or we could just do some eggs with no bunnies and a bow. So there, you got a bunch of choices. Bunnies, no bunnies, eggs, big bow, bunnies. What do you think? I love this tubing. Hello, Janice. Where are you from? We had a bunny, but we're liking the littler bunnies instead of the bigger bunny. The big bunny was just too overpowering for this wreath. He's just too big. Louisiana. What's the weather like there? And I added in the comments my Etsy link and my YouTube link. And if you guys could share the YouTube link, I'm hoping to get, um, when I reach 100 likes on my YouTube channel, I'm going to give away a bow. And you're going to get to pick your colors, and I'm going to make it live and ship it to you. Oh, is it rain and coldy? <laughs> rain. Rainy and cold. We're supposed to have snow Sunday into Monday. And I'm not liking it. But then again, my whole business is in my home, so I really don't have to go out in it. <laughs> I have a small um, all-natural dog shop in my home. I breed Yorkies, board Yorkies, groom Yorkies, so everything is right here. Anybody on here from Lori's group? Thank 
Thank you. I'm glad you like it. There's a stray one. <clears throat> I wonder what these would look like with this tied around and a bow made out of that. Hmm. That might be an option. Bling them out. <clears throat> you guys are going to have to watch for my live on Monday. I am getting in a bunch of new signs. Flamingos, bees, ladybugs, uh, more bees. Um, geez, off the top of my head now, I can't remember what I ordered. Really nice ones. Some smaller than this. So if you're working with a smaller one or a Dollar Tree uh, wreath base, they would fit nicer. <laughs> I know, right? Sweet little bunnies. I was actually saving those because I did a video the other day on how to change uh, a Dollar Tree St. Patrick's hat into a beehive. And what I actually did was this, where I took this netting and I wove these three quarter inch ribbons through there. And then I was gonna glue it to the outside of that St. Patrick's hat and make a little Easter basket and put the bunny in it. So, didn't finish it though. Kinda ran out of time. I'm looking around my room to see if there's something else that... Maybe if we just bling them out with the tubing and put a couple of Easter eggs here and there, that should be fine. Maybe we don't need a bow. Maybe a bow would just be too much with the sign. What'll happen tonight is at two o'clock in the morning, I'll wake up and I'll have this brainstorm idea and then I won't be able to get back to sleep because I won't want to forget it. So I guess I'll have to put um, a pad of paper by the bed so when I wake up I can jot it down so I can go back to sleep. But that's what happens. I get a lot of creative ideas in the middle of the night. We got a couple more. One, two, three, four. Looks like. I think I cut these at about 30 inches. There goes the bunnies. Hi, Geneva. What's it like up in your neck of the woods? Cold? I would attach the eggs by hot gluing them to the ties. Cause that would that would really stabilize them they do have a hole in them so if I wanted I could stick some wire down in there but actually the hot glue I think would do better I'm just not sure if we do one bunny three bunnies because you want to do it in odd numbers yeah. Okay. 
We got one more. Yes, one more. I pronounced that wrong, didn't I? It's Genevieve, isn't it? I got my cheaters on and they're really not helping a lot. How far are you from Rochester? Did you know there's a, a wreath conference in September in Rochester? I'm going. Okay, now we gotta decide what we doing here. Let's see what they'd look like if we bling them out with some tubing around their neck. Let's see what that would look like. So I don't have any ribbon down here that small. I got ribbon upstairs, but not down here. I'm not cutting off the other ribbon yet until we make a decision. Nah, I don't like it. I can always get some ribbon tomorrow and put it on. Um, I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else. Nope. They tell you if you're going to it's better to do something left to right. So we could put these bunnies over here. That doesn't look right. We could stagger them some like that. And we could add a bow on this side. Oh, thank you, Janice. Really, five or six inches. Oh, they're saying it's going to snow Sunday into Monday again. Should we just make a bow and put it there and see how it looks? And then if we don't like it, it can be sold as a pair where you get the wreath and then you get the bow for the mailbox that matches the wreath, the ribbon in the wreath. That way, at least you could see a, a you know, a bow made if you haven't had a chance to. And then we can decide if we want to add some eggs here and there. Maybe like one, two, three eggs, and then add the bow. I'll go ahead and make the bow, and then we'll decide after the bow is made if that's what we want. And who knows, I'll probably end up changing it tomorrow. I have a hard time sometimes because I have an idea in my head and it doesn't work out the way I like it, so then I gotta mess with it for a while. All right. Can y'all see that okay? Okay. All right. We need some wire. And I put it right here. There we go. Now, I do have other bow makers, but, and I'm, I'm not, I do okay with them, but for some reason, when I got the Pro Bow, <laughs> that's when I started selling wreaths. So, I'm comfortable with it, so I think that's the way I'll go. And when the people come to my class, I teach them how to make a bow also. Stay in tonight. And then at the end, I'll show you some of the new uh, signs that are coming in. I mean, some of the new ribbon for the upcoming lives for. 
the upcoming classes I'm doing. All right. Now I need one more belt, or one more piece of wire cut because I ran a piece of wire down the middle underneath. I don't use this wire until the end. It's just the way I roll. And it works for me, so that's all we need. Okay. Twist that so it's not my way. I'm gonna loop, come back, pinch and twist it because I want the pattern side up and I want it all consistent and that's what I like about this bow maker everything is exactly the same now why is that okay this is going this way okay see what I did wrong there we go This is where my middle wire comes in because I end up tucking that under and using this to do all my tightening until I get to the very end and then I use the one in the middle. Okay, so this has to go on this side. There we go. Now I got it. All right. I'm going to bring this down in between, twist this, twist this, come on, there we go, and then I'm going to tighten this as best that I can. I'm going to actually push against this middle peg and then twist. What the heck? only does that when I'm on a live. Really? <laughs> oh no. I hope you feel better soon. Okay. So we're going to tuck this up here, and now we're going to use this color. Up, back, pinch, twist, back again, pinch, and twist. Push against the middle peg and twist. Trim and dovetail. a statement with this bow so I'm going to do two layers of the of the wide ribbon which is two and a half inches bring it to the middle pinch twist it's just working against me tonight I'm just grateful my phone isn't popping off the stand. Um, not sure if I can, because it's just my phone on a on a stand. I'm hoping to win Amiibo. If I win Amiibo, I'm good. Then I can zoom in. <laughs> help any if I hold it up some. Maybe I can put something under it to give it a little more height and maybe that would help. Let me see if I have 
Let's do this. Does that help? <laughs> That's the best I can do right now. If I can't zoom in, I'll bring it closer to you. How's that? Put it down on the table to get this bow in place, and then I'll hold it up because that's not going to help. All right, it's wobbling too much. Sure, no problem. Who's on? Say hello. Type in live if it's your first time here if you want to be notified when I go live next time. There we go. And tie it off. And sometimes I have trouble gripping the wire, so I bring out my needle nose pliers, and then I can get a better grip on it. Just because the tighter you have it, the better your bow is going to look. Let me dovetail, and then I'll hold it up. See that middle wire that I was twisting? I have another wire down here and attached to here that I'm going to pull to really tighten it up. This peg doesn't want to stay in. There we go. So I'm still going to push as hard as I can against that. Then I take the one off the bottom. I'm going to use my trusty pliers here. See, I can get a really good grip on it then to twist. Okay, here we go. Take it from this side. Yeah. My husband made me this for Christmas, and I just love it. See how well he did that inside? Can you see the construction inside? He dubbed, he put those joints in there and really did a nice job. A lot of people are painting theirs. I, I, I don't know. I. I kind of like it plain in color because if I painted a color and then I have a ribbon on there that doesn't match it, it would drive me nuts. All right, so we're going to start from the bottom. And we want everything opposite. So if I got a tail there, I want a tail here. If I have a loop here, then I want a loop here. And so on. And now we want to put 
this tail over there. And see, because I've got it tight enough, I'm able to stretch everything out. There's that. Wait a minute. Here we go. Well, let's put this over here. Actually, want one there, one there, one over here. This one in the middle here. And then the next color was this one. Once you get everything out like that, then pull up your loops and do this method with your fingers to kind of poof them out. Why is that not going there? There we go. some stubborn ribbon in this bunch. That turquoise one. It's being stubborn. There we go. Okay, let's get it off the box. And we'll see if it's going to go. What do you think? Yeah, you can't see it that way. Like that. I think it gives it some depth. More depth. I kind of like it. And then I could... I got another idea. These guys, their feet move and their arms move. What if we put an egg in their hands? What do you think? Yeah, so I think the bow, bow looks good on that. Let me see what other... like we put an egg in their hand. Do a pink one in this one, a blue one in that one, or we'll do, because this one's a different one, it's bigger. We could put that in his hand, that in his hand. Listen to me, his. Could be a her. What do you think? I don't know. I could even um, thinking out loud. <laughs> could even put some of these in here. I haven't used any of these yet. Put one there. I'm gonna play around with it some more. 
But I think, what do you think of that idea? Put an egg in their hand? Yes? Yeah, I like the bow on it too. I think the bow really does something for it. Or look, these almost look like a balloon. Look, it'll, it'll be like my bee wreath. It'll just wiggle in the wind like my bees do. Did you guys see my bee wreath? I think that's what we'll do. Get rid of this. I'm into the wiggly stuff. Why not? Get whimsical, right? What do you think? Hi, Thelma. Thelma, we tried the other bunny. He was just too big. He overpowered the wreath. So we went to the little bunnies. And I think we're going to look at that. I think that's cute. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll somehow attach them. I'm not sure yet. And then they've got some wiggly eggs. And I could take some more eggs and put them where we don't have a bunny. Like I could glue one here, here, and here. What do you think? And I don't, I don't like this green stuff. Like, I don't think I want that. Even though it has that um, teal tint to it, I'm not sure. I'll mess with it. But I think that's the ticket. What do you think? Everybody like that? All right. Well, I'm just into the wiggly stuff. What can I tell you? <laughs> and I'll swap out their bows. I'll find, I know I have teal, I know I have purple, and I'll swap out the bows on their necks. And I think we'll leave it at that. Watch for it tomorrow, because what I'll do is I'll finish it up tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon I'll post the finished product. And I think the bow, I think it needs the bow. I think that's that's it. All right. What I promised you is when I was done with this, I would show you the new ribbon that came in today. So you have an idea of some of the upcoming classes we're going to be doing. And I bought another roll of the pink with the white polka dots. Why did I buy another roll? I don't know. But anyhow, I'm looking for um, napkins with the bike on it. Because we're actually going to um, decoupage the napkins onto a piece of wood. And use that ribbon on the wreath. So that's coming up. All right. As most of you know, we're going to be doing ladybugs and, and bumblebees. So I got a bunch of ladybugs and this has little Swiss black dots on it. We've got the plain red. We've got one and a half, two and a half. Um, I also have this that'll go good with it. This this um, and that so that's what's coming up also I have a bunch of new beach signs coming in um, we're gonna do a flamingo wreath we're 
also going to be doing pineapple, a pineapple wreath. Pineapple is really big right now. Thanks, Janice. Appreciate you stopping by. Then we're going to do a purple wreath. Purple is one of my favorite colors, and there's a lot of, um, where is it? I have this lavender ribbon. I even got some lavender um, florals today, too. Then another upcoming is going to be um, Memorial Day. The, the red truck is big, 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 big. Um, Christmas time it was big, so now every holiday that comes out, they're bringing out the red, the red truck. So we got navy with the large spots or dots, and then we've got um, a flag, and then one more. And I got the lavender in. That's really going to look nice on a wreath. And then I have a bunch of new beach signs coming in. Hi, Nanny Dot. And also um, Anchor Ribbon. Because we're going to be doing a bunch of beach ones. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. But I ordered from another company this color uh, mesh. I love peach. So I think there's a lot we can do with that, too. I know, right, Rhonda? I love the polka dots. Like I said, I went a little overboard, and then I ordered the pink polka dot, which I already have a whole roll of. And it's the 50-yard. It's not your, your small, you know, 10-yard. Um, and if anybody sees any ribbon they like, too, I sell the ribbon by the yard. So if you see something you like and you just want a little of it, um, you know, that's that's fine too. And of course you saw my bee wreath and I just love this ribbon. So, oh yeah, and this, where is it? See the little starfish? So that's really going to look good together. So I guess that's pretty much it. Does anybody have any questions? Um, feel free to like and share. I really appreciate it. And, and don't hesitate to type live so it'll introduce you to the robot on Facebook and let you know when I'm going live again. Um, Monday I'll try and go live with the new signs that are supposed to be here. Um, a lot of great signs. Um, I think there's even a couple horse ones, too. So, okay. And watch the events, events section on my Facebook page here for upcoming classes. I, Rhonda, I have a resale uh, license. So I get them from um, Sims, which is in North Carolina. Now... I don't know if you're familiar with Craft Outlet. They sell the big ribbons, the big spools of ribbon too. And and I split my order this time between both because of the fact that there was some ribbon that was cheaper at Sims, but when you factor in that I had to pay shipping, it was actually better to buy it at Craft Outlet because I was only paying a little bit more. Um, this is... This is the order from Sims. So the order from Craft Outlet is due in tomorrow. And, and what I found really weird, you saw the um, frame I used tonight, the wreath frame. I ordered that wreath frame from Trendy Tree. And the wreath frame that I ordered from Sims is smaller. And yet they're both 15 inch. So once I sit down and figure out where I feel like I'm, I'm noticing a lot on quality now. So now I just, oh, you're welcome, Sue. Thank you. 
So now I'm, I'm really double checking everything before I place an order. And I thought I was double checking everything when I came down and found out. You know what happened? I had that put aside because there's a wreath that I'm going to be making. And I'll show it to you. It's not, it's in the, I, I'm going to be doing a live with my teachers group. And I had this sign made up. And it has all my dog's names on it. So I'm going to be using this mesh because it goes with the pink and blue on their names in the sign. And then I have four ribbons. One has paw prints. I'm actually going to be using the polka dot one for that. I also have a teal one with polka dots and I have a, bla a, a plaid that'll look good with it too. Um, and the paw prints. Why is it telling me my battery is low? Hold on. My battery popped out. If I lose you, I'm sorry. There. Okay, closed. There we go. So these are the three plus the, the pink and white polka dots that I'm going to be using. Okay. Um, my plan is I make angel wings for people and dogs that have passed. And this past year I lost a few of my dogs so because I did have believe it or not I had nine under under one roof <laughs> Yorkies they're little they don't take up a whole lot of room so my plan is to make a paw print for each one of my dogs that I have now and then the three that I lost I'm going to have angel wings mixed in between so that's my my plan um, it's more or less just for me, um, just something to remember my, my little ones that I lost. Um, you know, are you on, you, yes, I am on YouTube. And, and I will tomorrow download this live onto YouTube. Um, at the top of the comments, I put the link to my YouTube channel. If you could go on and like it, share it, do whatever, please. Because when I get to 100 likes or 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel, I'm going to give away a ribbon, a bow. Um, you'll get to pick out the colors and watch me make it live. I'm trying to get my business off the ground, and it would really be appreciated. So, yeah, here's... See, this is trying to think where I got this one. <laughs> this might have been trendy tree too, because it looks it looks about the same as the other one did. But the one from Sims, I was not impressed with it. So, oh, you're welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. All right, um, look for the wreath tomorrow. Once I finish it up, I'll have it on. And then I'll be posting on Etsy. I'll post a link. And then um, just wait for Monday. And then I'll put on the new signs. Okay? All right. You have a, all have a great evening. Stay safe. And watch out for the snow. For those of us that live up. <laughs> and stay warm. Okay? Thank you.